Now, last year, British arms dealers signed multi-billion pound contracts with states the UK government says abuse human rights. Campaigners say more nations of concern get British weapons than those with no human rights problems. Let's take a look. Now, every year, the UK sells arms to well over 100 countries across the globe. That includes both weapons and hardware that could be employed by both the military and civilians. But what's striking is that many of the states have been identified by the UK's Foreign Office as nations with serious human rights violations. They include Iraq, Libya, Pakistan and Yemen. And that means that Britain is trading with nations its own government deems repressive and heavy-handed. On top of that, some of the buyers known for human rights abuses are not even on the UK's list. And this is true of countries like Bahrain and Egypt. Last year, the Gulf Kingdom received more than $57 million worth of military hardware and equipment. And Egypt, where nearly 700 people were sentenced to death last week, spent over $90 million on weapons. All in all, the UK sold over $6 billion worth of arms in 2013. Around half of that went to countries labelled as human rights abusers. RT Sarah Firth has more. Well, arms dealers have been awarded billions of pounds worth of contracts by the British government. Now, taking place today is defence giant BAE's annual shareholder meeting. Now, we've seen anger amongst campaigners for the company selling fighter jets to repressive regimes such as Saudi Arabia and Bahrain. And last year, we saw that annual shareholder meeting disrupted by the campaign against arms trade and you can expect that they've got a few more surprises in store for BAE shareholders today as we found out when we spoke to them earlier. We want to make our presence known, we want to ask him the tough questions right away, we want to put him on the spot and we want him to know that there are a number of people with serious concerns about the human rights violations being carried out on a regular basis by weapons sold by BAE systems. I want to talk to you about the disparity between the sort of government's own listings when it comes to, first of all, the countries of concern that they've highlighted. Um, you then compare that to the list, the government's own lists on the exports, and there's a huge crossover there. Well, this is a point. The government talks very tough on human rights, but when it comes down to it, the government is also very happy to arm human rights abusers. And actually one of the things that's interesting about the government list is some of the countries that aren't on it. Because Egypt, where 563 people were just sentenced to death, isn't on the list. Um, and that's seen a significant increase of spike in arms sales since the uprising. Similarly, Bahrain isn't on the list, despite actually the, for the um, Foreign Affairs Committee's recommendation that it should be and we think that's largely influenced by arms sales to Bahrain.